Jake here from MV Composites and we're gonna go over the installation of a saddle, both a standard rail saddle and an oversized rail saddle on an MV seat post. Now your MV seat post will come assembled with the standard rail hardware pre-installed inside the post. You will also have in your seat post a little baggie with an extra set of wedges and a bolt for oversized rail hardware right there. So the first step to installing a saddle on your MVC post, and we're gonna go over the standard rail saddle first, is uh, to disassemble your seat post hardware. So the tool you're gonna need is a handy try allen five millimeter, six and a four. Um, the standard rail uses a five millimeter allen bolt. So you're gonna insert that in there and simply remove it. Sit your tool side, pull your bolt out. And you'll have the two sets of wedges. You can just set your seat post down like that for now. And this is the important part. You need to grease a couple areas of the seat post hardware in order for this to function properly. So the first thing you wanna grease is your bolt. So take some grease and apply a dab of grease to the bolt. Set that aside. Now this is important. We're going to grease the wedge and we only want to grease one area of this wedge. We want to do it very lightly and that is simply the sliding surfaces right here. So with the grease I have left over on my finger from doing the bolt, I'm simply going to apply a very light coating of grease to this wedge and you wanna make sure that this is the only area you get grease in. It's imperative that you do not get any grease on the outside of the wedge. So with that surface greased, I'm gonna set that aside, pick up the other wedge, and have a little bit of grease on my finger still, so I'm just going to coat that lightly with some grease. Again, just a light coat of grease is all you need. You can take your bolt and put that back in that side of the wedge. And wipe your fingers off so you don't contaminate any other parts with grease. So from here, you're gonna take your seat post and you're gonna pull out what we call the lower cradle. And you can set that aside. You don't need to remove this, but I'm just gonna show you what the upper cradle looks like. And this is your upper cradle. So you can tell the difference. It has these two sides that drop down. So upper cradle, lower cradle. I'm gonna put the upper cradle back in the seat post. It just slides in. And we're gonna hold the seat post upside down like this. We're gonna take our standard rail saddle and we're going to take our seat post and simply slide the saddle onto the cradle like so. You can just rest it on the table or your workbench. Take your lower cradle, slide it through the other side. Now you can take your wedge with the bolt in it and slide it through one side. You can see the threads right there. Take your other wedge and align it threads, take your five millimeter and begin tightening till the threads catch. Okay, now from here, you'll notice that your seat post has a very broad range of adjustment and you can also slide it if it's not too tight. you have a broad range of adjustability fore and aft due to the narrow cradles here. So find out the position you wanna put your seat post in. We're just going to say that looks like about right. Set that aside. We've got a torque wrench here and your wedges here are rated between eight and 12 newton meters. I set this to 10 newton meters, it's a good place to start. And from here, you simply want to tighten, tighten the wedges.
to the desired torque spec. Now this is going to be on your bike when you do it so you can you can uh, jump on there, test out your saddle position and adjust as needed. But that is all that is required to installing a saddle with standard rails on your MV seat post. All right, now we're going to walk over the installation of a more challenging setup, which is the oversized rail. And when I say challenging, I picked out the most challenging saddle that I could find as far as installation. And it's a little more challenging because it has this back piece here, which just prevents you from installing the saddle like we did with our standard rail. So we're gonna set the saddle aside for now. With the seat post disassembled, I'm going to pull out the hardware that we will use for our oversized rail. The main difference is these wedges are a little bit smaller and the bolt uses a four millimeter head instead of a five like the standard rail hardware did. So we'll just set that standard rail hardware aside. You want to save that in case you ever switch saddles around. So for this saddle, we're going to install in virtually the same way, only in this case, we've actually removed the upper cradle and we're just going to set that aside because it won't fit in with the cradle installed. So we're going to take our seat post and slide it between the rails. We're going to take our upper cradle and just maneuver it till you get that into place like so. And we're to a point where we can install the lower cradle. So with the upper cradle installed and the saddle resting in the rails there, I'm kind of holding the seat post up to apply some tension there. We're going to take the lower, the lower cradle and slide it in. Now with the oversized rails, there's going to be a little bit more tension. And so in some cases, with the new saddle especially, it's necessary to take this fancy rubber mallet. And in this case, I'm just gonna use our Allen wrench here. And you're just gonna set it right here on the edge and give it a tap. Simple, just a light tap. And that just pushes the lower cradle over the rails. A lot of these saddles have this wrap on them and it changes the diameter of the rails. So some, sometimes you may need to use it, other times you may not, but usually once you've done it once, see now I can easily do it by hand. So that's all, it's just a light tap if you need to get the lower, lower rail cradle over the opposing rail. So from here, it's virtually the same installation as we did on the standard rail saddle. Grease the bolt, grease the wedge. Again, just a light coat. Install one side. Take the other wedge and put a light coat of grease on it. And install the other side. Like I said, this one uses a four millimeter Allen. So simply thread until they catch and you got a little bit of tension and adjust as needed. And then simply complete your installation by taking your torque wrench. Like I said, 10 newton meters is a good starting point and tighten until you hit your torque spec. And that's how you install your oversized saddle rails into the MV Carbon seat post. <laughs>